Hi and welcome back to another video from Effective Dashboards. In this video we will be looking at traffic lights and I'll be looking at an alternative way to configure your screen that allows you to see information a lot clearer than using the traditional green, amber, red to indicate performance. Okay, so let's kick off. So I've created this dashboard here and I've just thrown this together just to illustrate a point. I'm by no means saying this is best practice or anything that I'd use. I'd use a lot more probably graphs and bar charts, um, certainly bar charts and column charts. But just to illustrate a point here, we've got a, a number of the different views of our maintenance backlog. So along here, we've got the department and we've got the number of work orders that are at each of these different status codes. We've got the number, the number of work orders and backlog for each of these different disciplines. We've got the days and backlog grouping. We've got the work type. We've got the work order priority. So there's a lot of information here. And the idea is there's different views on our backlog and we might want to understand how old it is or what priority it is or, or who the backlog is attributed to. And we want to be able to see if there are any warning signals or anything that might indicate that the backlog is above a certain threshold. So for each of these, I've set up threshold values. So let's go in and I'll show you how I've done it for this. All I've done is selected the visualization. We go into the format, which is across here. And I've clicked on this button here. And we go down to conditional formatting. And open it up. And then we go a little bit further down here. And we can see, just scroll down. We've got advanced. And here we go. We can see here that we've got the conditional formatting rules set up here. Okay, so I've just used the out the box conditional formatting rules. We've set up a number of different threshold values and for each one we've indicated a color. Okay, so I've done something similar for each one of these. And um, and we've got this, this view here. Now, one thing that springs to mind straight away is that there is quite a kaleidoscope of color here. So do we really need to know, first of all, if something is okay, do we need to have that confirmed? So it's almost like a pat in the back and I understand that a lot of people do need to know that things are on track and on target. But I'd like to suggest that perhaps it's easier if you just look at the exceptions and highlight things that are off target or, or above a threshold or below a threshold, whatever, whatever that may, may be. So in this example here, it's above a threshold. So you want, we want to be drawn to the items that are above a threshold. So we want to be drawn to this here, this here, the reds basically. Okay, anything else we can live with for just now. So what's the alternative? Okay, so what you can do is if you go in here, rather than use traffic lights, and it may mean that you've got to educate someone that's looking at this dashboard and they want to see traffic lights, they're interested in what's red, um, but they also want to see what's good. Um, so they want to see the greens as well. Um, and it may take a little bit of change management there, but what you can do is show them the difference between the two. So how's it with traffic lights? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one of these in the conditional formatting, and I'm going to remove all the other rules. Okay. I've done the wrong rules there. Hold on. I'm going to remove the right rules. So I'm going to remove the green. Don't want to see if it's green. I'm going to remove the amber. Because we don't want to see if it's amber, we just want to see if it's red. So let's go and look at that. And we can see, bang, straight away. It's a lot more vivid, a lot more obvious, and it's right in your face. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for each one of these. But before I do that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to make it even simpler. I'm going to get rid of these alternative left and um, alternative colours. Now that's a kind of out the box, just the, the sort of format that comes typically. I mean, it's great if you've got a list and a report because it can help you kind of traverse the report and see what's going on. But if it's just a, a short list here, even this list here is quite short because there's not a lot of columns in it, we can get rid of that. So what we can do there is go into the styles and just choose minimal. Okay, so that makes it even more obvious where the where the reds are, where the issues are. So I'm going to do it for each one of these. And I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. And we're going to look at a comparison between the two. Okay, so here we have the original traffic lighted 
um, dashboard with the different traffic lights on it and we're interested in trying to suss out where should we look in. Now it is reasonably easy to see it but there's a lot of clutter there. There's a lot of noise and if you're going to be looking at this every day it may well be something that just just increases your what's called cognitive load. So the amount of thinking that you've got to do, even subconsciously, that can, that can add up. And the other option is we click across to here and we can see straight away that these are the options that we've got to look at. And then to make it even more obvious, like I did with the previous one, we're going to go into the style and we're going to change that to minimal. And we'll do that for each one of these. Look at the difference. You click on here and you're looking around. Yep, okay, so here's here's the ones I need to look at. They're instrument mechanical. Although if you click on the simplified version, and boom, you're there. There you're you're straight in. You're straight look straight in and looking at the actual values and focused in on where your problems are. Okay, so just a little a little hint there, a little a little tip. If you've been asked or if you're 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 used to using uh, traffic lights, try something new. Try just to highlight those that are real issues and try and make the rest of the dashboard as, as bland as possible, really, so that these these problems really, really jump out at the person that's going to be looking at this dashboard. Now, if you're interested in learning more about conditional formatting, then check the link below. I've got a course which is just dedicated to conditional formatting, takes you through the whole process and looks at out-the-box conditional formatting as well as, as DAX. So using more complex conditional formatting and also managing KPIs. So take a look at that and um, maybe something that's useful for you. Certainly recommend it. If you're going to be producing dashboards that are going to be effective and really draw the user attention into the, the areas that are important. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe to the latest videos, I release them around about once a week, then click the subscribe button and press the bell to be kept up to date. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you in the next video.